my name is Tom Fulan Nankundri. In this video, I'm going to explain about double heterostructure LED. So, first of all, you must know what is a double heterostructure LED. A double heterostructure LED by its name itself, uh, double, which means two. There are two different types of semiconductor. Uh, in, in which uh, one semiconductor is sandwiched between two similar type of semiconductor. Uh, so uh, here is, there's an example and uh, that is a uh, smaller band gap such as gallium arsenide is sandwiched between two higher energy band gap uh, aluminium gallium arsenide. Uh, this double heterostructure LED is very important structure in optical electronics device. It has a very interesting property in electronics and also it can be helpful or useful in <coughs> electronic circuit and devices. So here's the diagram of a double heterostructure LED. Here we can see that there is uh, N aluminium gallium arsenide and P aluminium gallium arsenide in which N gallium arsenide is sandwiched between these two uh, semiconductor. Now uh, here we can see that the uh, band gap energy of a uh, gallium arsenide is 1.42 in which which is very smaller comparatively to the band gap energy of aluminium gallium arsenide that is 1.92 electron volt and also in the band gap energy of a uh, uh, mean like the Refractive index of a uh, gallium arsenide is 3.6 and refractive index of allium gallium aluminium gallium arsenide is 3.2 in which uh, gallium arsenide has a comparatively higher refractive index compared to aluminium gallium arsenide. <coughs> so uh, this is the structure, there are three layer and also, we can see the band gap, and where this, these are the conduction band and also valence band. Uh, work, the working of this, uh, the working of this uh, a double heterostructure LED is that when we supply a current, and then from a pin structure, then the electron and holes are injected from into the heterostructure. That is, the electron is injected from this side and the uh, holes are injected from this side so these electrons and holes will recombine in this middle part here so uh, in which uh, they will recombine in that uh, middle part that is gallium arsenide uh, or the one which have smaller band gap energy uh, with the combina recombination of these two Type, that is uh, holes and electron there will be some uh, photon emission in which there will be some light emitting so there are two two principle of uh, double heterostructure LED that is a carrier confinement and optical confinement uh, what is a carrier confinement carrier confinement is when we restricted the area into a smaller area <coughs> in which the active region shouldn't be large it should be a very small small area uh, so that it'll be so that it'll be confined into a small area so how do we achieve carrier confinement in double heterostructure LED we achieve a, a carrier confinement in double heterostructure LED that when two higher band gap energy is sandwich uh, a smaller band gap energy a smaller band gap energy in the middle and two higher band gap energy sandwich uh, that smaller band gap so here we can get a uh, we can get a carrier confinement in which that middle part act as an active region that is very small and it's confined it's confined to a very small area and those two part that is outside the uh, that like they act as a cladding they have a larger uh, band gap energy so that uh, middle part with lower band gap energy act as a uh, uh, confined area so this is how it achieve carrier confinement and what is an optical confinement optical confinement is when we emit light in one direction or we can see we get make we get the light from the active region in one direction without spreading out here and there 
So how do we achieve optical confinement? Uh, we achieve optical confinement by placing a higher refractive index in the middle and a lower refractive index uh, at the side which I can circulating so for an example we can see in optical fiber optical fiber uh, <coughs> the middle part that is the core have a higher refractive index as compared to the uh, outer part that is the cladding and they have a lower refractive index so with a higher refractive index the light can pass easily from a middle part that is the core and it, it hardly pass in the outside layer that is the cladding so this is how uh, the optical confinement is achieved in which uh, the light will pass in one direction and now I'll come to a conclusion that is a conclusion that homo structure LED doesn't have these uh, two principle that is the optical confinement and the carrier confinement so as we can see head, double, double heterostructure LED have these two conf, uh, confinement therefore it is better than homo structure LED since homo structure LED can, uh, cannot transmit light in one direction and also the active region is very broad Whereas in double heterostructure LED, the active region is very small and also it can transmit light in one direction. It's very high quantum efficiency. As we can see that if we transmit light well, in one in one direction, means more power will be there. So the efficiency will be very high. And also it has a high radian, which uh, it can uh, transmit only in one direction. Uh, that is, uh, it means it has a very high radian and it's very useful to the electronic device as they need a very efficient device and also a very high radian. So this is the conclusion and I hope you understand or have got something of from this video. So thank you.